just a quick look at Dixie. It doesn't need to be a long video. I need to tell you about the diagonal fibs because it's possible because you're new to the zoop indicator and you don't really know what a diagonal fib is. Usually, conventionally, we use horizontal fibs, but zoop calculates the diagonal fibs based on uh, angles. So uh, we know that you know this is the top of the swing high and this is the bottom. Well, it's calculated it from the uh, anchor, so that's that. That's why we got an angle that's in descent. It's because we're using that sort of uh, trajectory, and because of that, we know that horizontally that these are you know Fibonacci, but we can also apply them diagonally. So this is 61.8, if you remember. Test, 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 test. It's four there, two here, one here three there actually, one there, two there. So we know the 61.8 is going to be a good resistance and uh, we're coming up to um, support, 76.4 support. So admittedly there weren't that many touches on this fib. Um, one, I guess you could say two and we're on the third. But this 61.8 had multiple touches so I think we're going to come up and get this. And it's just to say what's going to happen when I mean, we've got the signals to buy. So technically we're good on the hourly. And keep an eye on 118.35 for the Euro USD. This is the Euro weighted dollar index. So uh, we're only 10 pips away from breaking support on the Euro USD and we can fall a long way. Um, I can show you actually uh, daily. Yeah, so if we go below 118.35, we can fall a long, long way. 116.39. So, and then what I was saying about the COT data as well. So, just check uh, the video that I posted uh, this morning. It was about six o'clock this morning. So, watch that video and you'll see why this could be in, in, you know, performing poorly. So, just a quick video on the Dixie, what a diagonal fib is. And I think we're going to possibly get this 61.8 and it might hit that and, and fall, or you know, we could hit that and just rally. And it could be like a support resistance flip. So um, the median line is going to be quite important, 92.81, okay? And so that's that.